The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 2nd of June, 1660. Being with my lord in the morning about business in his cabin, I took occasion to give him thanks for his love to me in the share that he had given me of his majesty's money and the dukes. He told me he hoped to do me a more lasting kindness, if all things stand as they are now between him and the king. But, says he, we must have a little patience and we will rise together. In the meantime, I will do you all the good jobs I can, which was great content for me to hear from my lord. All the morning, with the captain, computing how much the thirty ships that come with the king from Shevelin their pay comes to for a month, because the king promised to give them all a month's pay, and it comes to £6,538, and the Charles particularly £777. I wish we had the money. All the afternoon, with two or three captains in the captain's cabin, drinking of white wine and sugar and eating pickled oysters, where Captain Sparling told us the best story that ever I heard about a gentleman that persuaded a country fool to let him gut his oysters or else they would stink. At night, writing letters to London and Weymouth for my lord, being now to sit in the House of Peers, he endeavours to get Mr Edward Montague for Weymouth and Mr George for Dover. Mr Cook, late with me in my cabin while I wrote to my wife and drank a bottle of wine and so took leave of me on his journey and I to bed. It's a small annotation to that entry. The Mr Edward that Sam is speaking about now is the son of the second Baron Montague of Barton and master of the horse to the Queen Mother. He is the first cousin twice removed of Sir Edward Montague, Lord Sandwich, who is Sam's Lord.